Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedient PC Audio Labs again. Today we're going to be starting a new series of videos, new series of tutorials in which we're going to be demonstrating the new features included in the latest update from Studio One, which is version 5.4. So as you might have seen, uh, as I said, uh, Studio One released the new 5.4 update and yes, it came with new features, it came with new functions, with some other that were actually improved and I believe they're really helpful and really cool and I definitely want you to learn how to do that, okay? And learn how to use them. So we're gonna start with the first of those. Um, I have a, a Studio One song here I've labeled as test. And it's very simple, I just have one audio track with a couple, um, I guess, audio samples that I just dragged and dropped there. Now let's suppose that I wanted to export the mix down. Okay, that's the first improved feature that we're gonna be discussing, okay? If I wanted to export the mix down, I would simply go into song and then export mix down and you'll get the export mix down window. Here it is. Um, we've explained this in the past and you know, you'll see options such as the location, uh, where the mix down is gonna be exported. You're gonna see options such as the export range uh, and some other like miscellaneous options. Now, what's the area that was improved? Here, down here, bottom left, format. So you can now export multiple formats at the same time, it's like a batch export, okay? So you could export WAV, you know, AIFF, FLAC, MP4, MP3, you name it. And you could do only one, you could do two, you could do three, you could do all of them if you wanted. And the cool thing about this is that you select them, and then you press OK and they all get exported. Now, the other cool feature about this is that, for example, if you have a WAV file, you can set your resolution, uh, meaning the bit depth, right now it's set to 24, and the sample rate. In this case, it's set to 44.1. Um, you can also, let's say that you, you want to do a WAV file in AIFF, you go ahead and check the AIFF file box, and now you have the actual parameters for the AIFF. Once again, resolution and sample rate, and as you can see, if I toggle between them, they're different. If you want to do, let's say, WAVE, AIFF, and also MP3, you go ahead and select the MP3 checkbox. And as you might know, the MP3 has different parameters, such as the sample rate and you know constant bit rate, or whether is it, is it a, a variable bit rate, and the actual bit rate. So you could do all of them at the same time if you wanted. And you're going to find this extremely useful if you're working, let's say, with a record label or a producer that want, that's very thorough and this person might want, okay, I want to listen to the WAV mix like, or the mix in WAV file. I want to listen to it as an MP3. I want to listen to it as a FLAC. Well, you could select all of those, set the parameters, press OK, and they're all going to be exported into this location that we have selected up here. And you're going to see the file name. So that's the first um, improved feature uh, that's included in the latest Studio One 5.4 update. I hope this tutorial was very helpful. If you have any other question, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we're gonna be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon, bye-bye. Wanna learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.